Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Conqueror and we are also on an appropriate <clears throat> good lord. I apologize. My voice is just gone. Um we're on an appropriate map. We're on Land of Fire. And we just happen to have a, a division on our team that uh, some of you might recognize. We got Vlad, we got Texwiz, and we have Feel My Flame. Not out of uh, choice, they just happened to run into these guys. But uh, I know they watch the channel, um, and uh, yeah, you know we've seen them. So we're going to try to win our side, guys. That's what we, that's what we try to do, right? Let's get to it. Now, this, this match is going to just showcase sometimes that there's just nothing you can do as an enemy team or as your friendly team. Like, it is, you can be on the receiving end as quickly as you can be on the giving end of these kind of games. And it's just incredibly frustrating on either side, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to do the best we can to, to do as much as we can, and it is quick as battle as this is going to be. I think this battle's over in something like eight minutes. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a quick one. Let's see how much damage we can get in a very quick match. Now, our black is going to go straight forward into Charlie. We're going to try to take the, the outside edge. We're already spotted, so we know there's probably a destroyer here. There are two cruisers out here. One of them is a Stalingrad, I believe. But the rest are battleships, which means there is plenty of damage to be had. And first things first, we get a Montana, so we're just going to go ahead, aim at him, see what we get out of our first shot. Remember, it's been a while since we've been in a... Conqueror, so we might as well, and the Montana shoots at the other guy, which is something that doesn't happen very often, but we only get 2,700, and it should have been at that moment that I realized something very, very quickly. Uh, I don't have my uh, Big 7 skill equipped for this match, so uh, yeah, I didn't realize it at the time, but yeah, during this match, I never actually had Big 7 equipped, which is the, the skill for Azure Lane Nelson Commander that makes the Conqueror and them um, the HE turn into tactical nukes. Now, don't get me wrong. Even without that skill, I mean, you're still lobbing napalm at the enemy. But there's just something about getting that extra damage per shell that just is ridiculous. And just hits something different when you're when you're shooting the Conqueror. But uh, our guy's charging straight ahead. I'm trying to uh, be the support at the back of the map here. We got a double fire going on the Montana. That's beautiful. Love to see it. That man's already put out a single fire, and now he's on a double fire. So this is why you don't damage caught a single fire. And he manages to dodge all the torpedoes. So he, he survives that mess of what could have been real bad. But uh, again, he's charging straight forward. The closer he gets, the more accurate I'm going to get. And we get another fire. So now he's got a triple fire burning. And uh, watch his health just disappear. Like, this is the difference between having... Uh, a single fire and having three fires. You thought you were in trouble with a single fire when you were full health. Now you have three fires burning and you're losing 5,000 hit points every two seconds. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but don't worry, we're just going to keep punching him because I had a feeling he was going to try to ram our guy. And so I'm trying to avoid that. Now, again, our guy's just charging straight into it. And this guy has lost all of his hit points. Remember that. I'm trying to save him at this point. He's got no health. I'm almost loaded. Go, 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 go. Come on, shells. Get there, get there. No! Our Iowa gets himself rammed. And the guy had no hit points. That's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. Now, I should say something about that. If you ever are being charged by a ship that you cannot overmatch. Learn to shoot the freaking superstructure. If you notice, that Iowa wasn't doing any real damage to that Montana. We basically did all that damage, and speaking of damage, good God. But uh, we're already up to 85,000 damage, and we got another fire burning. Now this Iowa doesn't put out the single fire. Maybe he saw what happened to the Montana, and realized that that would be an incredibly stupid idea. Uh, or maybe he's already burned his damage con and that's a permanent fire. But we're about to find out because we're going to hit him again and see if we can't set another fire. And sure enough, Conqueror does what Conqueror does. And uh, it's continuing to burn, which means he went, oh, never mind. He damage con. So there you go. No, actually it's still burning. Still burning. I thought, this, I thought the fire went out. But uh, yeah. Needless to say, 
We have absolutely barbecued this side of the map. There's only been two ships that we've had to fight over here. And both of them have been barbecued. Which is rough. But, I mean, it is called Land of Fire, so what do you expect? Right? Now, Iowa is kind of doing me a favor here, because he could have easily blapped me here. Uh, I was broadside to him. The Conqueror isn't the most armored thing in the world. It's actually the the weaker armored thing. Now this Iowa is hitting me with secondaries at almost six kilometers, which means he's got a secondary build on his Iowa. I know, right? Why? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. But yeah. Secondary build Iowa comes out broadside. I wish I had HE or AP loaded here, but it doesn't matter. I still hit the man for 12,000. He hits me back, but we got another permafire going. There's our witherer metal, which is a metal that I don't get a lot because, you know, I don't use HE very often, but in the Conqueror I do. And, uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit him again, you know, because reasons. This is what we do. This is the Conqueror for you. Like, you could load AP here and ruin this guy, right? These are the one situations where the Conqueror's AG, or AP would be amazing. But uh, he hits us again, and he burns to death. <laughs> good, good play. Hope you enjoyed. But 140,000 damage already. And we're only five minutes into the game. Almost six minutes into the game. But that's when the Stalingrad comes into play. Now, Stalingrad, if you don't know, has a pretty tanky, uh, you know, armor scheme. Uh, especially the belt armor is really good. Uh, we don't overmatch him, but we don't need to because we're a conqueror. It's HE. So uh, we only get like three hits with the first salvo. No fires, because it's a cruiser. So why would we set a cruiser on fire? Battleships get set on fire every time an HE shell gets within half a mile of them. But a cruiser, that's a different story. They get away with it for some reason. But he gets a really good salvo there. He gets uh, something like 10,000 damage off of us. But uh, we're just going to just take it. Like, we don't have to do anything crazy here. Uh, as long as we're not letting him citadel us. There we get a much better salvo. And we get a fire. And, uh, yeah, it's from here on out, it's just going to be... It's going to be GG's. Uh, you can see the next person that dies, the game is over. We have mercy rolled the enemy. And there it is. Gross curve first goes down before we can get another shot on the Stalingrad. But we had over 160,000 damage in that six minute game. 166,000 damage, eight fires, witherer. We still don't get top of the leaderboard somehow. <laughs> I don't get it. But uh, good good game to uh, feel my flame and his, his div mates, Vladdy and TexWiz. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quickie on a Sunday. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.